I just posted this on my social media because I was blown away. I'm I'm a like a I'm a rocket nerd. I just love space and all things rocket. And um, for the first time, uh, Jeff Bezos gave a tour of Blue Origin and he hadn't opened up his plant to anybody. Nobody knows what's going on in there. And so he let this great podcaster, his name's Everyday Astronaut, he let him in. And within the first 12 minutes, they're standing in front of this giant uh, liquid oxygen tank, you know, and the dome of the tank, you know, that which seals the tank is sitting invisible and it has this lattice structure and it just, it's really beautiful looking, you know, tank, right? And, and the guy, the podcaster goes, wow, it's, it's kind of beautiful. And Jeff Bezos said something. I just, I repeated it like 10, 20 times and I was laughing the whole time. But he said, he said, that's the thing with function. He said, when you engineered that last 1% of function, things become beautiful. Hmm. And I was just like, seriously, you said that? Oh my gosh, that's the, you know, that's beautiful. And I think I would say that that's what I'm talking about. Are you, you, you can have a millimeter here, a millimeter there, but if you're engineering to that last 1% of function, you're going to reveal the beauty, the underlying beauty of the face and its structure. So. Is what you're touching upon here similar to like the Japanese ethic of striving toward perfection in, especially in the creation of material objects? Like they had, the Japanese historically have this idea that there is one perfect way of doing certain things. And they will spend, you know, certain craftsmen will spend weeks or months building a single bowl, or they built uh, these beautiful Buddhist monasteries with these gardens that are very intricate and require lots of maintenance and, you know, katana swords that are not only functional, but also beautiful. And they'll, you know, a metallurgist will spend all this time making this one blade. Is, is that kind of what you're talking about in applying that mentality of quality over quantity to building faces. Yeah, it's it's both quantity quality, yeah. And and I am talking about that, but you have to be very careful too because um what I'm not talking about is some kind of sterile overengineering. Um where you measure every part and and there's a perfection for every part. Uh, you know, I don't I don't want to say that because there are some schools of thought and jaw surgery in the world that honestly they over engineer. Um, but, but I don't think there's a functional component to it. Um, so I would say, okay, let's take the katana sword, right? Um, folded and folded and folded and folded over time and oh, again and again. And then, why you know well to have incredibly hardened steel and in the end that incredibly hard steel holds you know a sharp edge better than anything else so while it ends up looking incredible having been folded so many times and you look at the intricacies of it and then you sharpen it and for some reason our eyeballs as human beings looks at look at it and go dang you know that is that is a Far different thing than my butter knife, you know, at home. Um, but there's function to it, right? So it's sharp and it's going to cut you in half. Um, yeah. So it does it does what it does, uh, and it looks good doing. I think that's Bezos's comment: is that when you over-engineer for function, uh, you you reveal the beauty, and our minds grab onto it. And I think facial harmony and facial beauty. That's what we appreciate as human beings. I, I lecture on it too. It's like our genetics are programmed to recognize health in other human beings. And the reason is for the propagation of the species. We don't want to share our genetic material with someone who's not well-made because then our offspring are not well-made. That That's how we protect um, you know, genetically the species. And so we're hardwired to think that. And, and is that true? Yeah, there's science for that. There, there's, there's some science out there that, you know, rates people's attractiveness and then analyzes their 
like immune system and how well they're able to fight off um, infections and cancers and things like that. And the answer is, yeah, there is a correlation. So our subjective, in some respects, our subjective view of what is beautiful reflects this healthiness. So if you're going to over-engineer, over-engineer to function, and that reveals, again, the beauty of the face. Can I make one caveat, though? Please. And that, is, that is, there are societal cosmetic things, right? There are certain um, social aesthetics that don't take into consideration function. And these are things that are brought into the society over time uh, that are judged um, uh, with the frontal lobe, if I can say that as opposed to the midbrain. The midbrain is responsible for our kind of reaction to life and looking at health and saying, well, that's healthy. But as human beings, we often use our frontal lobes and we can use our frontal lobes to re-engineer what we think uh, is appropriate. So you have uh, a very, you know, there was a time there where everybody wanted lips that were bigger than their heads, right? They wanted to be plump and isn't that like blown now? Up. Isn't that time now? Yeah, I guess, <laughs> I guess I keep hoping that that's not the case anymore. But anyway, so these these big lips, right? So uh, society says, wow, well, that's attractive. And our midbrain kind of says that's attractive because big lips means, you know, virility. It means, uh, it means health. Uh, a big lip is a supported lip, so it means a big airway. A big lip allows the lips to touch, so it means the mouth's closed. So we appreciate that as being good. But then what happens is, is these big lip people, they go to talk. And in order to talk, they have to pull their face apart. You know, they have to lift their lips <laughs> up and they get these, they get nasolabial folds and they start talking. And as soon as they start talking, you're like, oh, you know, <laughs> maybe yeah. too much, right? Yeah, maybe yeah. too much. But that's functional, right? So big lips like, static looks great. So you take a pic picture on Instagram, you put that on Instagram, it's like, whoa, look at those lips, they're great. Now you make that person talk and the dysfunction's revealed and then you're kind of like, no, yeah, no, it's not right. 